Hello, I'm Greg Funfgeld, and this is the third in a series of Moments of Comfort in which we're taking excerpts from our recording, Songs of Hope, and sharing it with you. As always, all of us at the Bach Choir of Bethlehem send you our very best wishes, and we continue to hope that you are well, staying healthy and strong. Today we're going to listen to Benjamin Britten's extraordinary piece of music called Rejoice in the Lamb. This piece was commissioned by Walter Hussey, the same person who commissioned Bernstein's Chichester Psalms, when he was vicar of St. Matthew's Church in Northampton, England. It was commissioned for the 50th anniversary of the consecration of that church. Benjamin Britten was a composer that Walter Hussey admired very much. And Britten chose the poetry of Christopher Smart. Kit Smart, as he liked to be called, lived from 1722 to 1771. He was a deeply religious person and had an amazing mind with eccentric and strange ideas that led to his being hidden away for years in an asylum. He wrote this ecstatic poem, Rejoice in the Lamb, and Britain chose ten sections from this poem for what he called a festival cantata for treble, alto, tenor, and bass soloists, choir, and organ. Smart's poetry calls for all of God's creation to worship their creator, each in its own way. The first three sections are for the choir, the first an awe-filled piece of music in, um, in honor of the presence of God. The second is an energetic dance through a succession of Old Testament figures, names that you may not have heard, Nimrod, Ishmael, Balaam, Daniel, Ithamar, Jacob, and of course, David. The third section is a very quiet and mysterious setting of the word hallelujah. The next three sections are assigned to solo voices that represent animals and flowers. Number four is a section about Smart's cat, Jeffrey. He says, for I will consider my cat Jeffrey for he is the servant of the living God, duly and daily serving him. He worships in his way by wreathing his body seven times around with elegant quickness, for he knows that God is his savior and God has blessed him in the variety of his movements. For there is nothing sweeter than his peace when at rest. The next section is sung by the alto, in this case, countertenor, countertenor Daniel Taylor. And it's about the mouse. And Kit Smart says, for the mouse is a creature of great personal valor. And he describes the encounter between the mouse and a cat. And at the end, he closes this section with the words, for the mouse is of an hospitable disposition. You can hear in the organ a very high-pitched sound that gives kind of a visual picture of the mouse. And then the tenor soloist, Ben Butterfield, sings about the flowers, and I love this section. For the flowers are great blessings, for the flower glorifies God. For there is a language of flowers, for the flowers are peculiarly the poetry of Christ. The chorus returns. There's some wonderfully exuberant music. And then at the end, the music winds down. That beautiful hallelujah section is repeated. And it ends with a remarkable stillness and serenity of soul in the words of Christopher Smart. A remarkable stillness and serenity of soul. 
as we get into the summer months, we wish you that time where you have some remarkable stillness and serenity of soul. We wish you hope and peace.